hello guys my name is joseph uh, in case you are new to this channel i am happy to have you today again i am a microsoft certified trainer and we have been on this um, series together looking at how to troubleshoot some common issues with microsoft teams so what i thought of bringing up today is this idea of give control does not work when you share a screen in teams okay let's say you are in a meeting and then you share your screen and you want to give control to another person to remotely use i mean work on your machine and it's not working for you of course it can be very frustrating so the symptoms here is saying that you share a screen with another user on the microsoft teams desktop client and then and the other user requests control of your screen in this situation you see the user's request on the sharing toolbox however you do not see an option to approve or to deny the request. Even the give control drop down, the drop down menu does not react when you try to open it. This is even when you see it, right? It is even possible that you're trying to even look for that option and you cannot even see it come up at all. That is the most confusing one, right? There are some things you need to take care of. Yeah, there are courses that regarding the, the GPU, that is the graphic processing unit we're going to talk about that but the point i want us to start start with is from the policy point of view right so if you go to admin.microsoft.com this is where we are right you have option to expand all the admin centers down below here and you'll find teams admin center if you click on it it's going to load this for you right admin.teams.microsoft.com is going to load up for you now if you look at this if you go home if you click here right you're going to see lots of stuffs that are loaded for you you have teams you have users you have teams device you have all of this and then you have meetings so if you click on meetings and you scroll down this way you're going to see policies now in your policy you can restrict users from having that option to give or take control while sharing screen in microsoft teams meetings now look at something down below let's just open the org wide policy i'm going to explain this now but let me just quickly scroll down to sharing content sharing yes this is where we are now this is saying participant can give or request control is turned on that means that all the users that are in the global policy are going to be able to ideally be able to share screen and then do give or take control right now look at something let's look at this um participant can give or request control let's look at the clause here this is saying this controls whether the user can give control of the shared desktop or windows to other meeting participants this is what uh, you know controls it however even if it is turned on the way it is the setting is not supported if either of the user is on teams in the browser so what it means is that at the moment right for the give or take control to work the two users must be on the desktop application browser doesn't it's not supported at the moment doesn't work at the moment all right so you have to take care of this so when a user complains that there was an issue without having the option to you know give or take control just find out this very basic thing are you on are the both of you on the team's desktop application or is any of you on the browser if any of you is on the browser then it's not going to work at the moment it's a known issue okay now talking about screen sharing as well you can also disable screen sharing from here if you disable this right now and you save it it means that they cannot even share screen in the first place okay so if somebody's telling you i cannot share screen of course this way you can control it okay so these are the things that you can you can um you know control from here but a user comes to me and he said he cannot share screen and i come down to global policy and i see that this is a lot it's also possible that the user is not on the global policy what is the easiest way for me to know the user the policy that the user is right this is how to go about it you can just go down here to users click on the drop down click on manage users and then you come to let's say the complaint was made by uh who now let's just say 
um, org-wide user. That is the name of the user. Let's say the complaint was made by org-wide user. What I would do is that I would just come here and I, will, I haven't clicked on his account. I will come to uh, policies. So this will show me the policies that the user is in because it's possible the user is on a custom policy. Okay, so let's say uh, it's give or take control that is not working. I'm, I know that is a meeting policy. So I'll just come down to meeting policy and I click on this meeting policy. I will see what is in is content sharing. Okay, so if I scroll down to content sharing, where we just left, where is it? Uh, content sharing, thank you. So you find out that the same thing that we saw there. So what I mean is that you can come through meeting policies or you can come in through users just to understand where it is. Now let's go back to our content. It is saying that, this is saying that the cause of this issue is because this issue occurs because the device itself, after checking the setting, the device itself, that you are using does not have the graphic process unit, the GPU installed, or the GPU hardware acceleration is disabled. Now, I will, I will show you two things. The GPU on the device itself, you don't need to be on the internet uh, for you to be able to see that. You can just copy this link here and you just click on this and then you click this and then you're going to have all of this display for you you see that hardware accelerated hardware accelerated hardware accelerated this system is not supposed to have this issue right all the hardware accelerated but if you look at something right the team's application itself also has gpu so if you are having this issue you also need to go check if you have disabled the gpu for the team's application even though that the gpu on your pc is enabled however if the gpu of your pc is disabled you need to reach out to the manufacturer of the hardware let me just look at this to prevent this behavior make sure that your system support hardware acceleration to verify the system the, uh, excuse me to verify the same you can browse all of this which we just shown you and then if you can see any value in it stating that software only or hardware acceleration unavailable that means that the system does not support it for more help we recommend that you contact your hardware provider but let's even say that you have checked and your hardware provider is enabled i mean the gpu accelerator is enabled as you can see here now what next can you do you bring up the team's application bring up the team's application itself and then make sure that uh, excuse me let me cancel all of this uh, I don't know what these are okay so you come to this and then you click on not now you click on here and then you click on settings when this comes up and then you see this open for you uh, just hold on okay look at it you see disabled GPU hardware acceleration require restart teams so if this is checked for you just this box is checked this way and then what you need to do is to uncheck it because it will impact on the gpu of the device so if i quit it for example and i launch teams again it's going to show that the gpu now is disabled it is checked so i will have to uncheck that to make sure that i can have give or take control in teams so if i want to summarize what i've told you so far if you check the policy and you see that the policy allows the user to be able to share screen and you check the device itself by pasting what um, by pasting this edge edge um, column for double forward slash gpu and it shows you that it is enabled you try to check the application if gpu is also not disabled look at it because i disabled it look at this is checked this is checked already because remember the last time i unchecked and i quitted microsoft teams and now it is checked so with this i will not be able to give or take control until i have to uncheck it because before it can work Okay, so this is how to take care of that. And if you have checked all of this and it's still giving you issues, so what you can do is to clear the cache of Microsoft Teams to make sure that the cache is disabled, is removed entirely, not bearing the, the, the former details in your logs. And then 
if issues still persist, I will always tell people that there's only one thing left that you can do, and hopefully that issue should be resolved, is for you to run Teams on compatibility mode. So search for Teams, right click on Teams, open a file location, and then when you get to Teams here, uh, right click on it again, go to properties, and then click on compatibility. And if this box is not checked for you, just check it, apply it, and okay it. Of course, this is not going to impact the behavior of your Microsoft Teams, but of course, it can go a long way. So to wrap up, try to check that the policy assigned to the user allows the user to be able to use to, to do uh, give or take control, right? And then the next thing is check the machine itself if GPU is uh, enabled. And then if the GPU is enabled on the machine, try to check the Teams application that um, GPU is not disabled. If GPU, if you've checked all of this and the issue still persists, try to clear your Teams cache. And if issue still persists, which I don't expect it to, you can run your Teams on compatibility mode, restart the device, and this should be able to resolve your issue so if this is the first time coming across this channel i encourage you to subscribe if you've not liked this video please try to do that if you have any question kindly drop it on the comment section below and i will attend to you thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day cheers